Summer is here, which means family vacations and lots of time in and around the water, and you can never be too safe. To bring awareness and make everyone safer around the water, USA Swimming is kicking off the 2013 Make a Splash Tour in New York City. And my two guests need no introduction, two-time Olympian Cullen Jones and Olympian Rowdy Gaines, who of course is the voice of swimming and has worked with NBC for the past six Summer Olympic Games. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Thank thanks. you, Brooke. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, Brooke. Colin, I want to start off with you because Make a Splash really hits home as you were almost a victim of the water when you were just five years old. Can you kind of take me back to that day and how you were able to overcome your fear of water? Absolutely. Um, I was your typical spoiled little brat at five, and um, my parents, uh, I was an only child, they wanted to take me to an amusement park and uh, wanted me to get on uh, some rides, and I was really, really excited, and my dad wanted to get on the biggest water ride, and um, I was going to go with them, and I was fully supervised, which is important to this story because um, so many children are going near pools and they're not. Um, I had my parents there, there were lifeguards there. I went down this ride, unfortunately flipped upside down, and it only takes about 20 seconds for a child to drown, and I was underwater for 30. I had to be resuscitated, and um, like I said, it was my dad's idea, so I'm sure he got in trouble. <laughs> Well, Cullen, you are now a gold medalist. You were the first African-American to hold a world record. So being able to overcome your fears, what are you trying to do to kind of lessen the statistic on African-Americans? Because the number is so high. What is your goal with Make a Splash? Absolutely. In 2008, um, after winning the gold medal, I kind of had a soapbox I could stand on and kind of preach whatever I'd like. And a friend of mine put uh, in front of me the drowning statistics where I found that African-Americans um, are 70 percent more likely to drown than any other race, or 70 percent of African Americans, I'm sorry, don't, don't know how to swim. 60 percent of uh, Hispanics don't know how to swim. And it's a big, big problem. And growing up in the inner city myself, I looked at my own family, my own friends, and said, wow, this is a big problem, and I can help change that. So I joined on with the USA Swimming Foundation and Phillips 66 to really try to help drop some of these drowning rates. Um, I know it's a big problem. I know the economy is a huge problem in the U.S., and we don't have an answer, but there is an answer for drowning. And it's two simple words, swim lessons. Awesome. Now, Rowdy, you've been around the sport forever, really from top to bottom. So I'm sure jumping on board with USA Swimming and Cullen for Make a Splash was really simple for you to do. But what kind of tips can you give families to make sure that their summer is safe as they head outdoors and around pools? Well, we've been talking about it all day, Cole, uh, Brooke, and the fact that Cullen and I are talking about, hey, next weekend, you know, Memorial Day starts, the water starts getting warm, kids are drawn to the water naturally. So the education part of teaching kids how to be water safe is very important. And there's a lot of partner programs that we have that are all across the country. In fact, we have over 650 states, Brooke. So if you go to makeasplash.org, it will give you a list of those partner programs where kids can take reduced cost or free lessons. And that's the key is to be able to, to get kids into swim lessons, as Colin said. And through Make a Splash, the USA Swimming Foundation, and our great partner, Philip 66, were able to do that. That's a great point, Rowdy. And I know to really kick off this weekend in New York for the next three days, something really big is going to light up the Big Apple. Can you share that with us? Oh, yes. In just about an hour from now, we're heading over to the Empire State Building. And because it's National Water Safety Awareness Month, the whole Empire State Building is going to be blue to match my shirt only, no, to match the color water blue and to, to really kick off this Make a Splash Tour. Awesome. Now, Cullen, a little bit off the topic of this, I know you just had your first meet back last week in Charlotte. So mm -hmm. how does it feel to be back racing and gearing up for World Championships in Barcelona? Ah, uh, it's a little sore, um, <laughs> knocking off the cobwebs. Um, I had an awesome 50 free, uh, and I shocked, I, I think, the world with the 50 fly that I did. Um, we've really been training uh, really heavy um, when it comes to weights, and uh, I think I'm really focused this year, uh, especially on the 50 free and the 50 fly. The 100 free, um, I think I'm going to wait until next year to really try to make a big move on that, but um, it feels great to be back. It's, it's, it's great to see all my friends again. and. Um, and, and to feel good in the water feels awesome. I know that there's a lot left in there, and as, and I'm, as I look towards 2016, I think I have a better, um, better uh, layout of knowing what I need to do to try to be successful there. 
2016. Wait a second, Brooke. 2016. <laughs> that's for Colin. But somebody else is in the picture. No, no. Who's phone? doing the interview here, Rowdy? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, okay. So, Rowdy, I'll put you on the spot here because I know you've mentioned about maybe not coming back with NBC. But can we guarantee that you're going to go for lucky number seven as the NBC analyst in The Voice of Swimming? Well, I haven't made I haven't made the announcement yet, but but sooner or later I'll let you know. It, it, I, I'm I'm looking forward to being part of the Rio Olympics one way or another, Brookie. But uh, I'd love to have you by my side one day. That's for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much, and of course for what you guys do for make a splash in the awareness and the importance of being safe around water. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you, you too. Thank you.